One of the main concerns about global warming, the disappearance of Arctic sea ice, made the polar bear a climate change icon. The concern was that loss of sea ice would deprive them of their habitat, leading to their starvation and possible extinction. The Arctic has seen dramatic changes in sea ice extent since the last century, but polar bear populations don't seem to have suffered. The gap between these figures and stories about the plight of the polar bear is addressed in a new report for the Global Warming Policy Foundation by evolutionary biologist Susan Crockford. She observes that concerns about their vulnerability may have been based on too little data and false assumptions about their lifestyle. In the early 1990s, researchers estimated there were between 21 and 28,000 polar bears. 2015 surveys estimated there were likely between 22 and 31,000 bears, with a central estimate of 26,000. Additional surveys since then have raised the best estimate to 28,500. Even taking into account wide margins of error, this reality of thriving, stable or even growing polar bear populations stands in contrast to stories about dramatic population decline. Among the many reasons for the misconception may be the way some conservationists have estimated their vulnerability to extinction. Unlike other species classified by conservation agencies as at risk, polar bears have been assessed not on the basis of population statistics, but by computer modelling their response to predicted sea ice loss. A 2007 study using this method predicted that sea ice loss would cause the extinction of 10 out of 19 polar bear subpopulations and a 67% decline in the overall population. That year and years since have brought low levels of Arctic sea ice, but the predicted decline in polar bear numbers has not occurred. Sea ice loss seems to have had no effect on population during the past decade. Another reason for the misconception is that the annual feeding cycle of polar bears appears to have been misinterpreted. Whereas the sea ice loss is greatest at the end of the summer, polar bears consume two-thirds of their food in the spring when there is much more ice. The dependence on the amount of sea ice that was present in the 1980s for both polar bears and their prey seems to have been overestimated. This mistake may have misled research, policy decisions and coverage in the media. Consequently, stories from the Arctic have been framed in pessimistic and highly emotional terms. Stories about injured or starving bears failed to report that this is the unfortunate way most animals at the top of the food chain typically meet their end. Instead, they emphasised climate change as the cause of the animal's suffering. Similarly, stories about polar bears being forced to breed with grizzly bears as a consequence of global warming turned out to have no scientific foundation. To discover more about the gap between polar bear facts and stories in the media, download the report from the GWPF website.